Members of Green Bay's Homeless Task Force say they have some new leads about a possible location for a daytime resource center, but they refuse to say anything more than that. As we reported last night, the site search was renewed when the owner of a proposed site on South Adams backed out of an agreement. Ben Krumholtz visited one of those possible options today and has a Fox 11 follow-up tonight. On Good Friday, Pastor Manuel Rico is frying up some help for the homeless at Transformation House. We just have to be creative. Transformation House is a transitional facility for homeless men. They pay $75 a week to stay here. Money from the fish fry will be used to help fill 16 empty beds at the facility. When we house them, you know, there's extra electricity, there's water, there's, 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 there's feeding them. Um, so it's a lot of extra expense to go along with that. Rico says he's offered up the basement of the Transformation House for a daytime resource center for the homeless. The lower level might not be big enough to uh, do what they are trying to do. You know, but it's a start. Alderman Mark Stoyer with the city's homeless task force says they'll look into the transformation house and any other option. Stoyer says it's been difficult having two different landlords back out of deals in less than a year. The other site was the basement of the Wisconsin Job Center building. I'm very disappointed today, but maybe in the long run this will just throw another spark in another direction, and I think I'm just going to stay open to that. As for the transformation house, Rico says it has similar resources as the daytime center is hoping to provide. He says they are mostly available for the men that stay there. There's a lot of men in the area that need help, and so far we've been able to uh, impact that area a whole lot. However, Rico says if the need is there, his facility is willing to help anyone in need. In Green Bay, Ben Crumpole, Fox 11 News. In a separate matter, Rico was found guilty of welfare fraud last year. In 2012, he admitted to Fox 11 he used food stamps to buy food for Transformation House. Food stamps are intended to feed a single individual.